Let's get it, let's get it. Good night. Uh, Mike B. Yes, sir. Let's get Chief it. Man. Pack up, UOD. Death for the clout chaser shit. Yo. Y'all know what time it is. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to ping up right now. Everybody ping up, ping up. Ping up. Ping yeah. up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Midnight, we keeping this a real strict stage. We ain't yes, letting sir. too many people on stage. So just, you know what I'm saying? The people that's, you know, uh, that's a part of Death of the Cloud Chaser, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, you know, Mikey, same same thing. You know what I'm saying? We about to... Uh... I closed that room out, Stats. All right. So, yeah, so you want me to wear security tonight? Yeah, we definitely on our security. Yo, let me get Jess up in. All right, it's done. Get Omar up here. My family. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I ain't seen you with a minute. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? Oh. What's happening? Yo, what up, bro? Yeah, yeah so this is how we going to do it. We want to keep the stage, you know what I'm saying, to a minimal. Only the team, meaning only death for the cloud chasers, only team pack up. You know what I'm saying? Those are the people that's going to be on stage. Most people, you know, if you're not, they ain't us. They ain't on the stage. They in the chat with a ping up shit. We about to um, we about to get this activated. I'm about to tell them we own. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Let me play some music. Y'all ping yeah. up shit. Only the fam. Mm-hmm. Only the fam. That part. For real. Don't bore. He shot, tell me when to go, and that was live as shit. He like digs, come through and ghost ride your whip. So I slid on through, and I brought my crew. Pulled up in the range and jumped right on the roof. And you can see it in my swag, mama burped the star. I had the whole fucking world trying to surf a car. It was me and Yuck Mouth down in Miami Beach. That's when I got close to Blue Da Vinci and Meech. The push was on Jeezy, BMF behind him. And a couple months later, Def Jam had signed him. But Meech didn't like that. And neither did Blue, cause you can kinda tell that he was leaving the crew But Blue was up next, trying to fill the spot On his independent grind with a deal from Koch Meech was in jail, so Blue was the core That's when he hit me about doing this tour I told him let's do it, cause my grind is wicked It was me, BMF, and about six of my bitches We started in Detroit at the Super Bowl It was 2006, it was super cold We did Black College Week, Virginia Beach Slid through the shot and hit NYC We hit Hot 97 for a hip-hop drop That's when we got stopped by them hip-hop cops We in a big blue bus with BMF on the side We knew they was coming so we dressed for the ride And the bus was clean cause we ain't no dummies and they ain't find no guns, just a bunch of money Had to let us go and we kept on pushing all-Star Weekend, we headed to Houston We're a couple days early, so we stopped in Dallas Pulled the bus right up to Big Meech White Palace Sheriffs pulled up and started making the fuss Something about we smoking and they taking the bus Now we need another tour bus to get back trapping We got three days and Blue made that happen We hit Miami Spring Bling and ATL Then Baby Blue left the tour and he got killed 22 cities and we did that straight Had one more stop and it was straight to the bay Yep, so we proceeded to Vallejo Funds running low so Blue needed my help Brand new indictments, they just had dropped So I let Blue and crew come and stay at my spot Then the feds came through and Blue caught that case I did some real nigga shit and went straight to the A Saw him on the visit and left him some bread Told my Georgia bitch to go and give him some head I was back in Vegas when he hit my line Said he just went to court and he got his time So now me and Blue talking in my three-way beat It's Baby J, he say Meech want a three-way meet So Meech click in, we begin to chat He say Diggs, I love Blue, but the niggas a rat To be continued Salute, salute We got the Honorable J Diggs in here Keeping the truth alive UOD, Team Pack Up, Death of the Cloud Chaser, we in this joint, we about to get this thing rolling, <clears throat> Jake Diggs, you can hear me? Uh, unmute, uh, press the, uh, the microphone, if you unmute. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm, we can hear you. 
Yep, yep, there. Hell uh, yeah, we can hear you. So, Lou, how you been? That's oh, good, it's good. What's up with it? Shit, you know, we had to definitely, yeah, you know, help you keep the truth alive. You know, you said you had some things on your chest, wanted to get it off. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things been going on. People been mentioning names. Uh, people uh, <clears throat> having allegations on Blue Da Vinci being a rat. Even um, heard something about Big Meech, but we ain't going to get on that just yet. We're going to keep it on Blue. And also hearing WAC 100, um, we call him WAC Run 100. Uh, he out here defending them. So, you know, we definitely had to get the truth from you and, um, you know, hear from your side and your perspective of what's going on. So, you know, let them know about what you got going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I heard you said you had a, a, a video and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, you know, that's that's irrelevant, money. That's that rap shit. I'm not worried about okay. that. Man. I'm only addressing this shit. I'm only really, you know, I don't really be doing this. It's my first time on Clubhouse. I don't really be doing this social media shit like that, man. But I'm going I'm to address this. You feel me? Because only reason why I'm addressing what Blue said is because he, first of all, he got my name in his mouth on the interviews, and he being disrespectful at the same time. He might have could have got past if he wasn't so disrespectful. But I'm gonna keep it 100. You feel me? So that that song you just played, you know, that was that was actual true story. All the shit. First of all, let me let me explain to you. Me and Blue were definitely friends. You know, that was like my little brother. You know, I ran around the country with him. I did his whole BMF tour with him. Me, six of my bitches, and BMF hit the road for two and a half months and ran all over this country from Detroit, California, Miami, and back. And at the end of the tour, well, while we was on the tour is when Blue Indictment came out. Literally, was when his indictment came out while we was on the tour. So we ended the tour in the Bay Area, which is where I'm from. And when we ended the tour in the Bay Area, we sent the tour bus back to L.A. and Blue and several members from BMF came to my house and stayed at my house, my nigga and for an extensive time let's just say that and uh so me and blue was real close that was my bro we ran all over we did all type of shit he was up under my movie at that time and uh when brought up with which is uh we was in vegas we was in vegas we finally went to jail we was in vegas it was a uh, magic weekend when the feds got on blue uh magic show and uh when he went to jail he called me i go jump on a plane and go visit Blue in Atlanta. They they transport him to Atlanta. I go visit, that's how much I fuck with him. Go visit him in the jail, do all the shit. So the day Blue got his time, the day Blue got his time, Blue called me like he always do. What's up, bro? I just got my time today. Okay, what they end up giving you? They gave him five years. I'm like, okay. He was like, yeah, they gave me my safety valve, all the shit, woo, 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 right? So, now here I am like, safety valve, wow. You know, I know what a safety valve is, so I'm trying to figure it out, first of all. But not five minutes into that conversation, I get another phone call. The phone call is from Baby J, BMF. Baby J say, Diggs, I got Meech on the phone. Meech want to talk to you. I say, click him in. Mind you, I got blue on the other line. Meech click in on this line. Meech come right in, Diggs. What's up with it, bro? We will say, you know, Blue went to court today, right? I say, yeah, I know. He say, look, I love Blue like he a little brother, but Blue was a rat bastard. Them was his exact words. I didn't change not one word. Them was his exact words out of Big Meat's mouth. So, of course, I froze up like, oh, ooh. what's going on? What do you mean, Meach? So he say, period, point blank. Look, Blue took a downward departure deal, safety valve, blah, blah, blah. Nobody in my crew on that level that Blue was on took that deal. Okay? So, I click back over to Blue. Just tell me, say, you can tell Blue. I click back over to Blue and tell Blue exactly what me said. Blue, I got me on the other line. Me just called you a rat bastard. So, Blue said, oh, no, no, I ain't told on nobody. I ain't woo, 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 this, woo, woo, woo. And so, I'm going back and forth with Blue and Meech over this, uh, this whole situation with him calling him a rat bastard. Now, Meech never once said that Blue got on the stand and pointed nobody out and did none of the shit. Meech's biggest thing at that time was Blue debriefed. Now, anybody that know anything about the feds know that if you take a safety valve, which was Blue deal, he already said he take a safety valve. He took a safety valve. If you know what a safety valve is, and I'm, I'm going to read to you, right? There's five things in a safety valve. 
to, in order to get a safety valve. Now, I'm going to read this straight from the safety valve paper. It says, no one was harmed during your offense. The person has little or no history of criminal conviction. The person did not use violence or a gun. The person is not the leader or organizer of defense. And the last one, the person told the prosecutor all he knows about sentencing, blah, 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 right? So basically, it's all about you got to, when you go debrief, you got to sit down in a room. And they're going to ask you a series of questions, right? It's up to them to determine if for them to go back to the judge and say, hey, judge, give him his safety valve. He told us enough information. Okay. You don't have to necessarily get on a stand and say, uh, or, or, or go in a room and say, I bought dope from so-and-so. I did this. I did that. Debriefing, they might ask you, hey, what's your name? What crew you in? Who the leader of the crew? Okay. What position do he do? What do this do? Okay. What about stash houses? What is this? How did the stash houses work? See, you understand what I'm saying? So you're debriefing. You're telling them all about how your system works, how your crew work, and how your crew move. That was Meech's problem. Now, now I'm going to tell you something else. Blue mentioned the uh, limo. He said Meech was mad about the limo. When Meech called me, he wasn't mad about the limo. We knew about the limo. The limo came up. Now, it, uh, but the problem was he debriefed. He went and sat down with the government. If you hear him in his interviews, he said it. He went and said the feds came and got him. He was young, 20-some years old, his first case, and they took him in his room. Now, my thing is, WAC 100 keeps saying, well, where's the paperwork? Where's the paperwork? Where's the paperwork? Let me tell y'all something about the federal government, my nigga. You can't look up a safety valve on the internet. It's not public information. Okay? It's called a safety valve. It's because it's for your safety. Unless they have to open up the valve and bring you into the courtroom. And you got to tell it all. Spill it all. You get it? Safety valve. You're safe unless we need you to come testify in court. So. Blue took a safety valve where he went and he debriefed. Now, if Blue want to clear all this shit up, is one way to clear it up. Because Wack keeps saying, get the paperwork, right? Well, the fact is, Blue is the only person that can get that paperwork. He can get that transcripts. He can get the audio transcripts and the, and the, uh, and the paper transcripts of his time that he spent in the room with them people debriefing. That's all. If he do that, That'll tell what he said and why they gave him five years for conspiracy to sell how many hundreds of kilos, whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> so with that being said, that's what I tell Wack to tell Blue. Tell Blue to get the transcripts from his debriefing. That's all he need. That'll tell it all. Nobody ever said Blue took got the stand. Nobody ever said Blue pointed the finger and said, I, I bought dope from him. That wasn't the issue. The issue was Blue debriefed on his crew. And if you know what debriefing means, that's a form of letting them know what's going on inside your organization. That's telling. Simple as that. Damn, damn. That's, yeah, that's deep. That's deep. So why do you think Wack is going so hard to defend him, though? Uh, well, you know, so, so first of all, Blue, blue, blue pleading a good case, and I understand his case. You know, like that was my bro. I didn't want to hear it either. I didn't want to believe it and all the shit. His thing is, blue whole thing is, I didn't tell on nobody. You get it? I didn't tell on nobody. But that was never the issue when Meech called him a rat, is that I didn't tell him. Did you told on somebody? He said, nobody on that level in my crew took that deal to go debrief. So when blue making his his mark with whack, and he pulled it out, he, he telling whack, you know, look, man, let me show you. Woo-woo. And Wack, like he said, he from the paperwork, and there ain't no paperwork that says Blue told on nobody. But there's plenty of paperwork that said Blue debriefed. So all he has to do is ask for the debriefing paperwork. We can't get that. It's not like the state. The state, you can go online and get anything public information. The feds have a safety valve. That's to keep niggas safe to tell. You understand? It's a safety valve unless we need to bring you in to testify. You're safe. Won't nobody even know about this. Get it? Google it. Google what a safety valve is. You'll understand a little bit more about his case and why there's no paperwork saying that he told on somebody. So, that I don't, and like I said, I only brought that point up because he, he keep running these, through these interviews and he keeps saying my name. I wouldn't even came through and did this. I already said what I said. 
and he already knew what it was, and that came from me. So I never called him a rat. I just told the story of what me said. You feel me? I, I ain't running around calling him a rat. I didn't see no paperwork at the time, but I did know what debriefing is, and he he's admitted that he's debriefed. So you tell me. Right. So he pretty much gave you the information you needed to know to stand on what you standing on. Yeah, I said it in the song. And then, you know, and then, like he said, you know, you want to hear the biggest coincidence of them all, bro, is that Blue was basically sentenced on, believe, October 28th or something like that. The Hummer was found, I believe, the 29th or something like that. After he, his, like, literally within days, October 28th. 28th or something, I believe he got sentenced, or it might have been the 27th, and the Hummer might have been found on the 28th, and it's and you can you can Google that too, you can find out what day was the Hummer. It says in the articles October, but I I know this because these was I was communicating with Blue. We on the phone all the time. He calling me from jail, updating me on shit, because this was really my little brother. So, you know, for me to go and back up off my own bro. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody out that lived in my house, bro. I'm not just going bad on blue. I got nothing against him. I love him like a brother. I hate the fact that we even here. But if I wouldn't have got the call from his boss, which was my other bro saying that this happened. Now, I heard they talk some more afterwards and blah, blah, blah. But then me cut him back off. You tell me. I don't know what's going on. All I know is what happened at the time. So I was just clarifying that. That's why I was on Gully TV. I was just clarifying what a safety valve is, what Blue did, which he already admitted. He went in that little room. Y'all see the little room on First 48 every day. Take them niggas in that little room to ask questions. If you admit to going in that little room and you say that you're going to answer questions, they're going to ask you questions. They're going to look for your answers, and your answers are going to determine what happened to you. In order to get a safety valve, in order for Blue to get his five years, the FBI had to go to the judge and say, Judge, during the debriefing, we had substantial enough conversation with McKnight, and we feel like you should give him his safety valve. And he got it. So what he told him, it's only he can only he can produce that. He can get that from his lawyer easily. So if he really want to clear his name, Challenge Blue to get his transcripts from the federal government. Not nobody else. Nobody else got to should have to bring the paperwork out because they can't get it from debriefing. We're not talking about transcripts from him getting on the stand and nobody. We know that don't exist. But there's transcripts from him going into the debriefing room and the questions they asked him and the answers he gave and why they okayed the downward departure. That's it. That's all. I was hoping he'd come in here so he could dispute it. <laughs> he know I know. See, I've been around the nigga for years. I've been knowing Blue since 2002, three, two or three. I've been around him. Right. So let me, Um, I'm going to do a quick reset in the room. Y'all in here with the UOD team pack up. Death of the Cloud Chaser. We got Big Chuck. We got uh, Mikey from team pack up. You got Stats Sweaty. You got a lot of people in the room with beans. Follow your moderators. We in here with Jay Diggs. He having a response to Blue Da Vinci and WAC 100. <clears throat> Basically, it's looking like he's defending uh, a rat. And um, Jay Diggs is basically standing on principle and saying, hey, you told me something, uh, which is saying that you debriefed. Why don't you provide that paperwork so we can clear your name out here and um, everything will be smooth. And I'm pretty sure uh, y'all need to ping up, share the room, uh, get involved. We got a lot of people in here. It shouldn't be no reason that we only got uh, about 30-something shares. So definitely share this room. Let's get it to 50, 60. I'm going to cut the chat off until y'all get that up. You know what I'm saying? But we in here. So, uh, Jay Diggs, why do you think Blue Da Vinci is mentioning your name at this time, though? Do you think it has something to do with the series or... If he just well, no, nah, you know? it, it, it got nothing to do with the series. The question was asked. The reason why he mentioned my name is the question was asked: How did the rumor start with him being a rat? And he said it started from Big Meech, and that's what it was. The day that he actually went to court and got his time was the day that Meech called me 
and said he was a rat. Meach had somebody at the courthouse that was in the courtroom through his whole proceedings and said everything that he said, everything that he did, what deals he took, and all the shit. So he called me that night. So that's how it, it started. That's how, so when he was telling the story to these other dudes, these other uh, podcasters, he's telling them that, hey, it started from me calling Jay Diggs and telling Jay Diggs that I'm a rat. So we was, and we, we all ended up on the phone on a three-way call together. But he's disrespectfully mentioning my name. You know, he got upset about the song, but in the song, I just told a story. See, that was part one. There's another part to that. That rock, It's called the rompography. That's that song you play, and then it comes back in with part two, it's the rompography three, and I tell some more about that shit. But at the end of the day, you know, Blue know what it is, my nigga. He, he, he know exactly what it is, and, and it's just the fact that he debriefed was Big Meech's whole thing, bro. It wasn't never about he jumped on the stand and said, George sold 10 keys to me and Johnny sold 20 keys to me. You, you, you gave up information on the crew that the feds may have knew or may have not knew, but he shouldn't have took that deal because that was not the deal that the rest of the crew on that level took. And that was what Meech's big thing was about. And that's why Meech called him a rat. And that's what I'm clarifying. He's trying to say that it's all cleared up because it was just about the Hummer, but it wasn't just about the Hummer. It was about the debriefing, period. Now, I'm sure the Hummer came up in the debriefing because two days after his debriefing, the Hummer was found. So you tell me. Or after, yeah. And and so with the with the Hummer situation, how many people knew about that vehicle? Oh, it was only a selected few knew about the vehicle. You know that the, the Hummer situation happened in, in Atlanta when they they raided the house, and, and cars got picked up. And, and and you know, of course, they didn't go pick the cars up because some of them was dirty. So at this time, have you spoke to Meech uh, recently or anything? I didn't hear you, bro. How, did you speak to Meech uh, recently? I talked to him probably last time. I talked to Meech probably about about uh, it's been about a month about a month ago when I was with Lil Meech. Okay. Uh, I talked to I talked to Big Meech, but wasn't none of this shit going on. Ain't none of this none of this shit was going on right here. So is Meech uh, pretty much keeping the same stance with him, like? You know, he's still a rat in in his eyes, or did things change? Yeah, uh, uh, from what I know, yeah. I mean, that's why Lil Meech ain't fucking with him either. Lil Meech called him a rat, like you know what I mean. So they they're not dealing with him at all. Like, why would they not be dealing with him? What's the problem? So it sound it yeah. sound like he he might be bitter because he's kind of left out. Maybe. Oh, we, we, I thing. mean, I mean, it's no. So first of all, let's just keep it one hundred. I'm gonna keep it one hundred with that too. Definitely, Blue is a big part of BMF. Now, Blue was not the drug dealing BMF, but Blue was a big. He was damn near the face of the mob outside of Big Meech, and Meech rode with Blue. So yeah, Blue was part of that look. He was all. I gotta give him his credit where his credit was due. He definitely helped put the shine on BMF. Okay, so let's. Not, I'm not gonna take that from him. So with them telling the story, yeah, he better if he not if they don't mention him in the story, which they're gonna have to if they're gonna tell the story right. But at the end of the day, they're gonna have to get to this part of the story, and that's what he's worried about. And they are leaving him out. He can't go to none of the shit. Why? Why is he not welcome at any of this shit? You tell me. Hey, so um, look, JD, check this out, right? When it's when, when niggas is debrief, that shit is transcribed, bro. They record that shit. The feds write that shit down and all that, right? Exactly. So why has nobody asked Blue or why has Blue not presented that? If he's really not a rat and he feel like he's not a rat, all he gotta do is produce that. Why that's why I'm here. Ask him to produce that. Shit? That's why that's why I'm here, because ain't nobody asked him. See, see, like the state on a state case, you can go online and get state cases, public information. Right, the feds got they developed this because the feds is such a powerful organization. It's the hide motherfuckers. So Blue is the only one that can get this, and that's why I came and said this. Like, so Wack One Hundred ain't told Blue to get it. He telling everybody else to get it. Get paperwork against him. No, just get the briefing paperwork. If somebody would have been, somebody should have been told him that. That's what I'm saying. And Blue know that too. Blue know that's, that's, Blue that's, know that's, that's, that that's shit what, could clear his name 
or it can nail him to the cross. It's a reason exactly. he hasn't released that shit, bro. Because you exactly. know what he said in that shit wasn't right, bro. Exactly. Blue can clear itself. If Blue really want to clear itself, all he has to do is get the transcripts from the debriefing. I it's gonna have every, it's gonna have every question they ask him, it's gonna have every answer he gave. And it's gonna say whatever. But it's definitely gonna say whatever they talked about on the limo. Facts. Hey, let me ask you this though, bro. Did you did you know Dion Gatlin or do you know Cuffy? I don't know Cuffy. I know of Cuffy. I don't know. I don't. I don't know him personally. Okay. No, I don't. Are you familiar with what's going on right now with I, Cuffy I, and these I, interviews he's doing? I'm. 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 I'm recently familiar. I'm doing my homework on this shit now. All this shit is pretty new to me. I just got all this shit in the last few days since this nigga been doing these interviews. Okay. Okay. So, um, you kind of caught up to speed, or you really hadn't did your research yet? I mean, I'm kind of caught up to speed with the with what they saying. Um, for sure. I've been, I, I didn't look at it from interview. I'm just looking at YouTube shit. I haven't talked to some people that I need to talk to. I haven't, you know, and, and, and here's, here's the tricky thing with this shit, man, is, I, is what I'm seeing. You know, uh, it's some shit that's facts. There's a facts that, 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 uh, that the Tammy, the Tammy bitch did some bullshit or whatever. And that she owned the rights and all the shit. I, I, I pretty much know that that's facts. Now the facts is if, if she turned, if she, if she, if she did some, some backdoor rat shit. Now the fact, the, the question is one, was she doing it with, 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 with dude knowledge or was she just doing it on some underhanded shit as being an informant because she fucking with the police. So that's what got to come out of this. You feel me? So it's a lot of shit. It, 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 just because she could have met the niggas through me or whatever the situation may be, but she could have been on her own bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's true. Let's let's give her the benefit of the doubt and let's go on that, bro. Let's 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 Not just her. Say, we got to get just, me. Let's give me the benefit of the doubt and let's just say that he didn't know nothing about yeah. it, right? But check this out. They still dealing with Tammy to this day. You don't feel like that's dishonorable, bro? If 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 all this is going on, if me know all this happened and all this is truly going on, it's definitely dishonorable. And that's no, 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 no. What I'm saying is let's just say that Meach didn't know about um, you know, Tammy setting up, was gonna set up um Cuffy and the, the Mexican nigga for um Juarez, Suarez or whatever, right? Right. But after he's found out, because everybody knows she's an informant now, they're still doing the show with her. They're still dealing with her. She was still on the red carpet for BMF with Lil Meech and all them. Do, don't you feel like that's dishonorable, bro? Like to uh, still be dealing with her, knowing that she got your man banged for 30 years? Yeah, it's, it's definitely, if it happened like that, it's definitely dishonorable, but you have to look at something else. Like if she owned everything, if she owned the rights to that, like you're not getting her off the red carpet. Like you understand that too? That's her shit. So yeah, but you still you ball. still got the option to not do business with her though, bro. Uh, but not doing business with her is is giving her your whole life story too, for sure. So first of all, before I can even speculate on this, bro, let me let me. I can't I can't. It's hard to, to really speak on something that you don't know nothing. I can't let YouTube because I know niggas. I know niggas. I need to talk to, and I know that I can get a little bit more information than what's just floating around on this internet. And that's the thing about me. I don't. I don't live off this internet shit or none of the shit. Like I, I'm, I'm more of an in depth person. That's why I came on here. Like what I told y'all is in depth. I, none of that shit is made up. Blue will tell you itself. He found out that Meach thought he was a rat behind from Meach calling me and us being on the phone at the same time. So I'm not. You know, I ain't saying about no clout chasing. Ain't about none of that shit. Like I don't play that game. Like I said, I'm. I did ten years in the feds behind a rat, and that's why I stand on this shit so hard. And Blue know that. Blue know that. Blue been around me, lived in my house. He know how I feel about rest. So that's kind of why it surprised me that, that we would even be having this kind of conversation. And, and so as far as the shit with me, like, like I say, bro, that's, you know, here we going by a lot of speculation that's not all the way clear yet. Right. Because, because at the end of the day, um, there, there's speculation that he, 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 supposed to have set some people up or whatever it may be but none of them people went to jail or none of the shit cuffy's supposed to be in jail for some whole different so i you know you understand that too right so it's got to be some pieces gotta gotta fit first everywhere for this to make sense so like i say this is all brand new to me so i still got some people to talk to I definitely got some people to talk to I'm not, and i'm gonna and me to being one of them you feel me i got my own questions and that's what I'm saying. I, I I can talk to bro like I can go and ask him like what's going on, my nigga. So that's gonna be my my thing is I need to find out and really need to talk. I'm like that.
before I get to try to, oh, we're speculating about this and that, you really got to know what you up against. Yeah, so when, when Blue been running around in these interviews and shit, kicking it like, you know, he was running this tour bus around and all this shit, basically that was on your back, right? Like you was taking care of most of that, right? So let me let me tell you what happened. No. So so Blue did the, so so Blue had to deal with Koch. Koch records. So Blue got the tour. He had he had a whole tour, bro. The tour was set up fat. We started in Detroit at the Super Bowl. We ran all over the country, but Meach was back in the tour. Meach was back in the tour. So, but the, we was on tour for like two months, and during the tour, Baby Blue got killed. We chased Jeezy down in in, in, my, in Miami, pulled up on Jeezy, trying to get the rights uh, for Blue song. We did all this shit was going on during the tour, two months, damn near every major state in this country. Near the end of the tour, Blue was out of money. Period. Blew it. Blew money fast. Probably I don't know, a couple hundred thousand. Probably I don't know something big though for sure. And it was to the point that he needed my help and at the end of the tour i was the one paying for the gas on the bmf tour bus when the, when we stopped and last stop was the bay area and we sent the bus back niggas came and stayed at my house and i ain't talking about for no two or three days like blue stayed with me for months and we left from the bay area and we went to vegas and that's where he ended up getting caught up at you know and he didn't have no big meets and bmf money with the time when he was staying with me and they were smoking my weed and living in my house and had to go sneak out and do shit from my from my situation. He was up under my whole movement, Thiz. We got songs together. He was doing shows with me and all this shit up under my Thiz entertainment movement. He was, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's how close I fucked with him. He was definitely my bro. And, 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 and I, I had a lot of love for him. This situation right here is what separated our love. It had nothing to do with hate, nothing to do with disrespect. It's all about standing on business. And this business right here is just what I don't get down with the rat shit. So it so it I take it as when you found out all about this, it kind of like bothered you, to the, like to the point where you just said like this, I can't even repair this. Like yeah, I just I just backed away. I stepped away from Blue. When I got the call from Meach, bro, I immediately stepped away. I just stepped away as BMF. You know, I fuck with the mob tough like all the way, but that was Blue and Meach business that they had to take care of. So it went from Blue calling me every other day from the, from the, from being in the pen to me not accepting blue cars no more because of this shit which was hella hard to do because he was really like my little bro so when he got out you feel me we met one time when he got out just to you know chop it up like what's going on and whoop whoop and i really didn't feel the energy of be you know what i mean about his situation and i was trying to find out like you know how this shit played out and all the shit and this one i i, I this one I, you know it, it just it just all added up bro it just all just added up to it, it wasn't no good with Blue. It wasn't no good with the mob. He wasn't dealing with certain niggas. Hell, the niggas had cut him off. It just was all bad. And and, and like I say, he, you know, if if he wouldn't have had my name in his mouth on these last interviews, I wouldn't even be here doing this shit, bro. I'm not looking for no clout from this shit. I'm just telling what's real. And that was the situation with and, Big Meach. And you know what's like, honest, like I could, I could sense like the pain it's like you don't even really want to unpack this but it's like you gotta you know stand on the truth and just be like bro, this shit, if, if this shit is all bad with me i gotta stand on that too and that shit gonna break my heart like i've been literally running little meach all around this country i didn't get that nigga probably 70 80 thousand in the last six seven months booking him on shows just running around this country that's nephew you feel what i'm saying so this shit is gonna destroy a lot of shit if this shit go bad and I'm praying that it's not because, you know, I really fuck with these dudes, bro. Like, this is, these my niggas. So this shit is messy right now. I really don't like it. But Blue doing interviews so and calling names. So I'm, I'm definitely going to step up to the car. And we, we definitely respect that. You know what I'm saying? Because nowadays, people out here co-signing rats. Rats is just becoming a, a, a new thing. Do, have you noticed that? Like, do you see that there's uh, like a new trend where people are coming up with excuses for it and, Bro. you know, they just doing a lot right now. Cause I've been noticing like a lot of people just, oh, he didn't tell, but it's like, bro, they using his information in, in a court case. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it, it's a lot going on, but um, hey, so we gonna, I'm gonna do a quick reset. Right now y'all in the UOD, death of the clout chaser, team pack up. You know what I'm saying? We united in here. Everybody ping up, share the room. 
We in here with Jay Diggs. He keeping the truth alive. Stats to weighty. We got Ghost in here. Uh, we got uh, who? We got Big Chuck in here. We got Omar. We got Deuce M's. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of real reputable individuals in the room. So, you know, this is a, a solid stage. And also, if anybody got any contact to get whack up in here, you know what I mean? Since he want to defend a rat, why don't he uh, tell Blue Da Vinci to release his paperwork? Provide the paperwork of him debriefing, and then he can clear his name. And 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 and, and our brother right here, Jay Diggs, you know what I'm saying? He could gracefully get up out this situation because he's saying, "Listen, you shouldn't have spoke his name. He want to get it off his chest, and I can tell this bother." <clears throat> That's all he got to do. And like I say, bro, I, I really love that, bro. Like, that was my little nigga, bro. So it hurt me to have to cut him off. And it'll be the same thing with me. Like, I'm not, I don't I don't bar none, bro. Like I said, I did 10 years for a motherfucker that spoke my name. And he didn't have to. So I don't, I don't, I don't even look at this shit the same. It's just something I can't be, I can't be no parts of. I don't deal with niggas that get down like that. And I expose them. I've always exposed them in my music and all the shit. That's just how I get down. But hey, I, I just, bro. And I'm not really here to keep running my mouth for all the shit, all this shit bro. Like I, I, I'm, I'm really against running my mouth too much. I really just wanted to just put that out there and, and let that narrative, uh, you know, play on everybody's asking about paperwork and why and why, you know, because like I say, Wack got a, a valid point where he keeps saying he ain't seen no paperwork. He ain't seen no paperwork. But Wack is very intelligent. Wack does know what a debriefing is. So tell Wack to tell Blue to supply the debriefing paperwork. And this shit can go away. Hey, Jay Diggs, let me ask you a quick question. Like, what was your relationship with Jay Bo? That's my bro. I was just in St. Louis fucking with Jay Bo a couple months ago. That's my bro. I still fuck with Jay Bo to this day. That's my bro. We, we, we. Hello? Yeah, no, I got you. But they, um, he, yeah. he pretty much, he was um, the one who outed um, Blue Da Vinci recently, right? Yeah, yeah. Jay Bo spoke on the interview how they kept him separated on the yard or something. And all the shit, you know. Like I say, you know, and Jabo, Jabo, you know, that's Junior Boss, man. Jabo been around, you know. I met Jabo probably like oh two two oh two oh three somewhere around there. I've been knowing these twenty years, my nigga. Twenty years I've been rocking with this BMF shit. You feel me? I didn't wore it on my clothes. I didn't threw it up. I didn't ran around the country with the. I didn't jump niggas with these niggas. I didn't did everything except sell dope. I'm gonna sell dope. <laughs> so yeah. Hey, let me ask you a question, J. Diggs. You did your 10 years where you went to the feds, right? Yes, sir. All right. Where did you end up landing at? I started off in Terminal Island with the Lime Pock. I went... Uh, USP Lime Pock or once it turned to LCI? U USP Lime Pock. Okay. I'm, what I'm, year was that? That was in, in 95. I went through... In, no, yeah, 95, right after the crack law. Oh, my, so my, you was up there with Mac Dre? That's my co-defendant, bro. Okay, okay, so you, oh, That's, all right. Mac Dre is my co-defendant, my nigga. He went to, Mac Dre went to the feds because of me, my nigga. I'm the bank robber. Okay, and yeah, me too, I, right? I, I, I run, I run Thea's Nation, my nigga. I'm, 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 I'm still, I'm under Mac Dre label, my nigga. Okay, salute. Uh, yeah, I'm, I went to the feds for a conspiracy to bank rob me too. Uh, real quick, um, I want to confirm what you said about, uh, public safety factor. Um, a lot of people say, well, when the feds get you, you got, because a lot of these dudes are squares, bro. These dudes ain't never really walked that walk. You know what I'm saying? They go on hearsay or whatever, and they make ignorant assumptions. Um, my co-defendants on my bank robbery, two of them, the ones that actually went in, was trying to get us off and did an open plea. And they said they didn't have no co-conspirators. The lawyer said, no, don't do it, man. Look, Your Honor, we tired of going to court. We just want to take uh, responsibility for what we did, right? Well, what did you do? We robbed the bank. Well, who had the gun? You or your co-conspirators. We ain't got no co-conspirators. And they end up getting four points. The first time I ever heard it, four points acceptance of responsibility. If I wasn't in that courtroom when that happened, uh, I would have never believed it. If I didn't have the paperwork, I wouldn't have believed it, right? But that just really nullifies the whole point that a motherfucker got to cooperate or you got to be working with them motherfuckers to get acceptance of responsibility. As far as the public safety valve, we never got that. Debriefing, that means there's a conversation with the police. We, we can never waive our Miranda rights. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a difference. It's a difference just between just pleading guilty 
and, and, and going to debrief, my nigga. It's a, it's a big difference. You know, we do that all the time, okay? You take responsibility for your act. Now, like I said, now, now, now there's a time to do it and there's a time not to do it. Now, here's a, here's a, here's a situation for you where shit can get tricky, okay? You my co-defendant, right? Your, your, your charge is 10 keys. Uh, um, say your, 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 your charge is, um, um, you getting charged with, uh, possession to sell 10 keys of crack cocaine to me. Right. Okay. And my charge is, uh, distributing it 10 to me. Yeah, exactly. Either way around. Right? right. Now, if I go and I say, I'm finna plead guilty, I'm finna plead out. Right. I'm finna plead out to distributing 10 keys to you. And you still saying, no, nah, I ain't bought no 10 keys from this nigga. Wasn't finna buy none to him and none of this shit. And you trying to go to trial. Well, guess what? Me pleading out, in order to plead out, they're going to say, woo, woo, woo. Okay, you can plead out to this, but we're going to need you to either come and testify against him or you're not going to get the deal that you really want pleading out early like that. So you can plead out early like that. And, you know, once you plead out, they're going to say, okay, well, what did you do? Okay, I set my responsibility. I was going to sell 10 kilos of cocaine to blah, blah, blah. Right. But your co-defendant is still saying, no, I wasn't finna sell. I wasn't finna buy 10 keys of cocaine from him. Right. And they utilize your your your, uh, your deal at, during his trial to help. Ex exactly, bro. That so now conspiracy did exist. That That's exactly the deal that I turned down, bro. They offered me that. My co-defendant was like, look, we finna plead out. Go ahead and take the 70 months. I said, nigga, I, they got to take the names out there. Nigga, I'm, I don't want no names in my paperwork that I did anything with nobody. And and them niggas thought I was stupid. But I, once I got to them USPs, I knew I made the right decision. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> See, that's, that's what happened to Mac Dre. See? See, Mac Dre was innocent, my nigga. Mac Dre went to the feds for not telling on us. But so Mac Dre was damn near put in a, in, a, in a position where he had to go to trial. Mac Dre uh, charge was only conspiracy to commit armed bank robbery. My charge was attempt in a conspiracy. So if Mac Dre would have pleaded out, it would have been the same thing. He would have to plead out and say, yeah, I knew that my niggas was conspiring to rob a bank. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. Trust but me. we was going to trial, so he couldn't plead out. He had to go to trial with us. Because if he would have played out, he would have been he would have had it would have been Mac Dre or Snitch. He took his niggas down because his niggas was going to trial and he said, Yeah, they was conspiring because it was really our conspiracy. He was just caught and up he in stood it. Up like you a man that? should though. Exactly, my nigga. And that's why I rep this nigga to this day. As so you, you know, like I say, man, I, I I'm not here to do no hella hell of fire talking. I just really wanted to just clear up some shit so motherfuckers get a better understanding how this shit go, especially with that fed shit. A lot of people think they can just pull up the paperwork online. You can't just pull up There's no safety valve online. Now, last night, uh, somebody came in here saying, well, Blue brought the paperwork on uh, Meeks, which is a whole nother topic, right? Uh, he said that Meeks told, I said, well, that both could be true. If Meeks could tell, but that doesn't ex exempt him that he made statements to the police. We need to know what them statements were saying. Like, he got that paperwork. He got access to that paperwork. Yeah, he got to clear himself before he starts throwing stones at somebody else, for sure. Right. So, and why do you think... That's what we try to do. Do you think yeah. that's a, a deflective tactic? Because I noticed he did use that angle to, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, to divert people from asking him directly, hey, bring your paperwork. So he decided to start throwing different names and things of that nature. And it's like, and, and the way I'm understanding it, it's like, why are you doing that? Are you trying to still be involved? Because why didn't he just step away and leave it alone? Well, because one, first of all, BMF is the biggest shit going on TV, right? So you got to understand, it's definitely hurting his pride to not be involved with that shit, especially knowing how involved he was with it. So I get that. I get that. He wants to be, he wants his credit for what the mob was about. But he looking for the credit in the wrong place right now. And he got to clear that shit up. And like I say, but I, listen, one thing for sure, two things for certain, I hope he can clear it up. I pray Blue can clear that shit up. I don't want that shit on that nigga. I fuck with Blue. I fucked with Blue. Let's just put it that way. I had to stop fucking with him because of Meech's phone call. But if Blue can prove that none of that shit happened, 
I, man, kindly, politely apologize to that nigga. For sure. But I don't think it could happen. Right. So one thing I want to ask, too. Um, you, you heard about the uh, the Meech situation that could be uh, questionable. And um, would you be, would you, would you grace the stage once again if there happened to be confirmation? Definitely. Appreciate you, family. Appreciate you. If this really can be confirmed to that, like I said, I'm going to do my own homework, though. So, you know, like I, I just, you know, the internet is one thing, bro, but it, it, it's ways to really get to the bottom of shit if you really want to. So, it is what it is. That's another thing. I pray this shit ain't true. I pray both hands this shit ain't true. Hey, Jay. How are you? I'm good. Hello. This hot girl right here, right up, well, on the, on the line under you. Um, oh. I, I'm just, I wanted to ask a question um, from the chat. They was asking um, to ask you if you can clear up the work with Stevie D. Did Stevie snitch on the hood? Oh, yeah. PSD, definitely. He He's over with. Yeah, he definitely, um, that's another one. That's what I'm saying. And that's that's somebody who's like a brother to me. And I had to do the same thing. I had to tell his story. And, and yeah, he 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 was part of he was part of our label and all the shit. He got a big indictment on my whole crew in 2008. They started an indictment in 2012. They raided my label, raided my crew, and all shit. And hell, the niggas went to jail behind Stevie D. PSD, the driver. Yeah. So yeah, that's factual. That that paperwork is out. Matter of fact, I got a video with his paperwork in it. That's easy. You know, look that up. That's all public information too. That's all out there. That that ain't that wasn't even here. Thank you, and I appreciate it. Y'all got the answers from him. Um, and welcome everybody to the UOD. Make sure y'all hitting that share button, share the room, join the house at the top. Y'all know how we do. Click the green Monopoly house. It's gonna say join. Join the house, follow the mods. If you in the audience, you want to come up, raise your hand, come up. Make sure you follow in the house and the moderators and keep the chat live. I've been looking in the chat. And actually, I'm right now, I'm in Denver, Colorado. I'm on my way. I got to get ready to go to this video. Shoot. I gotta hey, go to hey Diggs, um, we actually got uh, the paperwork of um, uh, 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 Meech. I'm, uh, send me your email and I'm going to send it to you. And you know you could do what you got to do or whatever. The send it to me, be. for sure. Send it to me. All right. I definitely want to see this. Salute to the whole UOD man. It's your boy Yael. What's the word? Yeah. Salute to Death of the Cloud Chaser UOD. Oh yeah. yeah. Death of the Cloud Chasers. What up? Hey, hey Jay, I got a question for you, man. It's Yael. Yes, sir. So you know, hearing all these things and you, you know, cutting dudes off like, which is man. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's great hearing that, man. You know, a lot of dudes they try to find loopholes to keep fucking with foul niggas. But my question is this: so when you cut niggas off, right, and then and the niggas that you cut off, and then niggas that you fuck with, still fuck with them niggas. Do you still fuck with those type of individuals also? Um, no. If if they dealing with a motherfucker directly, that's a, a known rat. I can't have no association with them for sure. No. Not at all. What no, What man. about this? What about this? I, it, it just I gotta ask these questions because of my situation. So, knowing that, knowing that you saying that, somebody that wasn't privy to the knowledge that that individual was a rat, right? They end up hearing about the situation, hearing that it is true, everything's concurred, and they start to act blind to it. Are they considered harboring? Are 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 those individuals considered uh, harboring snitches or condoning well, the snitching also? Well, so so and, and here let me let me let me let me break something down to you too, bro. So you okay. got this. This what the people got to realize too, bro. You got street niggas, and then you got civilians. No facts, facts. Okay, okay. I'm a street nigga, so I got to live by street nigga rules. Okay, a civilian doesn't have to live by our rules. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so for instance, if somebody robs your mom's house and your mom calls the police, she's not a snitch. She's a civilian doing what civilians do. You understand? That's not considered snitching. That's civilians. They're civilians. They're not in the streets. They're not doing gangster shit. None of that. That's civilian shit. Now, 
if you in the streets doing gangster shit and somebody rob your house and you call the police and all the shit, you become a rat. Facts. <laughs> because you in the streets with all the yeah. fuckery. So uh, people got to realize that shit. There's a difference. There's definitely a difference. There's civilians and there's street niggas. The street. Do police shit. It's up to you not to get caught, my nigga. It's up to you as a street nigga not to be in a position where a civilian, you know, you sneaking all the time, you, you know. So you got to remember. So that goes with the laws of the street, too. If they're not in the streets doing street shit, they're not living by street laws. So you can't expect them to do street law shit. So if the person you're talking about, if they in the streets and they selling dope and they doing all the shit, hoeing, whatever the fuck, then they shouldn't be messing with rats. No, they should be told. But if they are square and they go to work every day and they just like, hey, look, man, whatever y'all doing in the streets, y'all y'all business. And hey, they civilian. You get it? Salute. Yeah, most definitely. Appreciate that. You get it? So that's that's just as real as I can keep it. You feel me? What I'm saying, snitching snitching is for niggas. See, see the thing about snitches is, nigga, you in the streets, you doing something, and and you doing something, me and you doing something together, and you get caught, you get caught, you get in trouble, and to get out of trouble, you go tell on another man. That's what I got a problem with. You feel me? Or justifying it, or yeah. like. Well, a nigga said some shit like this. A nigga, hold on, Jay. A nigga said some shit like this. Yeah, the nigga told. It was on some little shit, but he told. No. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, telling is telling. Telling is telling. But like I said, what 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 part of the fence are they jumping on? And and that matters, bro. That really matters because in today's society, everybody is not on the same shit, and everybody can't be considered the same type. Street niggas is it's it's to be held to a certain accountability. You understand? Right street nigga shit so you can't you can't hold your, your 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 square mother or your square father under the same shit under that you under if they're not doing the shit you do if they go to work to a nine to five and all the shit and they come home and take care of their house and all the shit they ain't got no street niggas to go send to go do no gangster shit if somebody come rob their house you feel what i'm saying so that's to be expected you gonna expect them you do you sell a dope in front of this lady house and she called the police. That's to be expected, my nigga. You're not supposed to get caught like you in front of civilian shit. Now you're in front of another dope dealer house, and he called the police. That's snitch. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just keeping this real as I can on this street shit, on street shit. No, nah, that's a fact, right there. Now nah, you made it clear. I you're totally right. That's that. a fact. Yeah. You so say I'm in the go hit up the stew, Jay. What's up with it? You say you finna go hit the stew up. I'm, I'm on my way to a video shoot. Actually, I just flew into Denver, but I'm, I'm working right now. Not, well, not. If, if we don't get the chance, man, uh, we want to commend you for standing on principles. That's something that this room has been on since the beginning. Uh, it's kind of like uh, a art, lost art, right? Um, and, and the motherfuckers is last for the Mohicans, man. It's a whole new era. But that don't change and that don't dictate your moral compass. You dig? And for standing up like that, man, I want to make sure I salute you, man. Salute, King. Salute back at you. I appreciate, I appreciate it, bro. Salute, Anybody that know me, my nigga, they know I stand on this, bro. It's in my music. It's in my life. That's all I ever did, bro, when it comes to this, especially when it comes to this niche and shit. Because like I said, I went down for that. So <coughs> I, I can never condone it. Jay, when you get a chance, when you get a chance, it's Yael. Look up Yael. You'll see why I asked you those questions. Okay, I definitely do. I look good. Hey, yeah, yeah. So look, my um anybody else that wanna tap in with me, my, my IG is at J Diggs Thiers. I gotta get ready to go. At J Diggs Thiers, anybody wanna tap in with me, bro? I'm easy to find. Most deaf. I'm gonna inbox you right now. Yep, T H I Z Z. J Diggs T H I Z Z. You nigga can tap in with me. It's nothing. And I got a book out. I got a book out called Soul of a Gangster, my nigga. And it really tells this whole story the way me and Blue got it on the whole shit. It's on, it's on all platforms. The real shit. But I got to get ready to get up out of here, man. I appreciate y'all having me, man. I hope I educated some of y'all to some of the shit on how this shit go. And like I say, the last question of Blue should just be, where's the transcripts from the uh, debrief? Salute, bro. Definitely salute, man. I, uh, make sure you send me your email so I can send that straight to you. Oh, I got you, bro. You got my number, too. So let's, we, tap, we tapped in.
that part, man. Salute, man. That's a real one. Y'all already got it. Jay Diggs done said what he said. He's standing on that. So, Wack 100, go do what you got to do. Stop harboring rats. Ask the right questions and stop acting like you don't know what the fuck going on. And this ain't content, nigga. Nigga standing on business. Point blank, period. That's it. That's all. All right, I got I to gotta get out of here, man. I salute y'all, man. Salute. 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 All right, be safe. From SeaTac District. Salute. Hey, man, I want to salute the whole UOD, the uh, Death of the Cloud Chasers, Pack Out Squad. Pack no, out team, team pack up. Team pack, uh, uh, team pack up, man. Y'all had a great. This is a great room. I'm glad we still keeping the truth and the real ones alive. All you niggas out here conforming, you know, condoning snitching and trying to make excuses for it because of CEOs and labels. You niggas is real fuck niggas, and I'll never fuck with you niggas in real life. I won't fuck with you niggas on no music. These niggas in this room right here and women, men and women that still stand on what I stand on. It's time to build a new family. And I'm I in this and this is what it is. So I hope you can hit that. Yeah, salute, salute, man. You already know what it is, Big man. Salute. Team pack up, death of the cloud chases, you OD. Everybody in here, y'all know what it is. We all family because we live the same way morally. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. We're gonna stand on business, share the room. I'm I'm hoping everybody. Was satisfied with what y'all heard. So go in that EBT 100 room and let them motherfuckers know, hey man, what y'all gotta say? <laughs> Cause you know they gon' they gonna get on their bullshit. You know, and what they saying? can't and nobody can't say that he's fake because he really got his um his socials attached to his profile. So that definitely is the the right person. That part. Hey, hey. That nigga sound like he from Vallejo. <laughs> hey, 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 Deuce, we got to yeah. hit that. <laughs> we laugh at that whack and point at him in his face. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> he, he was just a truck driver. Now he out here advocating for rats. <laughs> I wonder why, you know? I wonder why. Lord. Yeah, man, that was great right there, man. That was a dope vibe. But, but I, let me say this, that's, uh, welcome everybody. If y'all still up in this thing, welcome to the UOD. We be up in here talking that real shit with the real receipts and the real people. Ain't no fake shit over here. So if you want to come up, you know, feel free. Raise your hand. If you in the chat, chat it up, chat it up, do your thing. But uh, make sure you join that house, share the room, ping up. Share on your Twitter, Facebook, wherever it say at in there. And then your messages, copy the link, send it to a few people, text message, and let's get it going. The replays is on. So um this this ain't a runaway. This shit here. That part. And, and we stamped. just put the in the room. Y'all could now y'all could come on stage respectfully. Um, you know, y'all all family, but you know, when we have real content. We wanted to have it structured. We ain't had a. We didn't want to have no, you know, noise and people. So, you know, y'all gotta respect that because when we giving y'all content, we not like them other people that had people come on the stage, start trolling, run around doing the most. So, you know, we just wanted to be professional. So, you know, what I'm saying, hopefully, y'all understand, and that's just what it is. You know, what I'm saying, and I salute everybody that stood in the room and decided to put their uh, their their questions in the chat. And you know what I'm saying, and shared and participated. So this is a win for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Because now on here they consider the yelling and screaming content. Today was uh, uh, pure content. And uh, shout out to everybody in here. Team Pack Up, Death of the Cloud Chaser, UOD, Hot Girl. You know what Let's I'm saying? Let's get it. No. Oh. <laughs> the big Freedom three. The you heard? Hey, Got real that. quick, stats. Um. I got a new Instagram. I want everybody to follow me. Um, stats. I need y'all. I need your Instagram again. I don't know if I follow everybody, but uh, this is my new Instagram. I need everybody to follow up so I can follow y'all back. If you've been following me, salute. If not, this is my new Instagram. Y'all dot L underscore official. I need Bro, y'all to follow me back. Bro, you lost three Instagrams in a year. No, 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 no. This, 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 this the new one, dude. The one. Hey, the send one. it, send it to me, cause I ain't, like, like matter of fact. Um, Just uh, y'all follow me, and then I can follow it right back. 
Yeah, yeah right or something right now. like that. No, yeah. your, your shit not in your thing, uh, Stan. Yeah, you know, I'm Mine on is. incognito. Yeah, Hold I'm going to follow you right now, hot girl. Yeah, because I'm used to just going to the profile, poop, poop. I just did right now. Okay, let me follow it back right now. I'm going to do all y'all right now. All y'all. I'm going to do all y'all. All right. Yeah, that way I don't forget. I did it. Hell yeah, yeah. I just sent you mine. For real. For real. Hey, what y'all think? What y'all what y'all think? We we should keep this open or just go. All right, I got you. About to follow you back. Ooh. All right, lit. Hey. Uh hey. Blue Smith. Blue Smith still in here? Blue. You said what was you trying to tell us yesterday when when I ran that room? What was you trying to tell me? That shit was cap, bro. That what was cap? That third party snitching shit niggas was stretching doing Pilates about on each name, bro. Nah, bro. First and foremost, Jay Diggs didn't even speak on that because he hadn't even seen the paperwork. That's why he was stat said he's sending it to him. And then he said he, under that same circumstance, if that's what it is, he going to stand on that too. So what was the point? What, what was your point? But how we verifying that shit about Meech and we ain't even verified shit before that? Well, the shit with Meech actually got his name in it, bro. The nigga was, was putting together a money move while he was in jail and put together somebody he met in jail. Not that the other nigga met. With his bitch, the CS, the C1, CS1, and nigga, they all, the CS1 don't get charged, but these niggas get charged for the case from a move that the feds testify under penalty of perjury and sign saying that this nigga is the one that put the move together. So when we start believing the police word on shit, bro? Bro, in, in the paperwork, <laughs> in, the, in the paperwork, if your name in paperwork like that, bro, uh, and the police put it, and you ain't sued them, yeah. Loose, you stretch it, bro. That's a hell of a stretch. Nah, that, that's all that, I'm saying. That's not a stretch at all, bro. That's Pilates like so, a motherfucker, bro. So, so you, so you think that uh, first and foremost that they wouldn't have held uh, the prosecutor, the U U.S. attorney, the FBI agent for uh accountable for lying under the, in in the court of law on a on a when federal do they document? ever hold them accountable bro that's what i'm trying to like what was we talking about bro bro if that that would be the biggest scandal on the news right now that they forged public <laughs> but why you acting like that so far-fetched so blue have you been to the feds never shut up then <laughs> i got shut up because i've never been to the feds <laughs> That's crazy. That's, come on. Easy. Come on, Blue. I thought you been to the Fed. You talking to some people. That's that crazy to say that. Come on, Blue. Baby, you have an opinion on anything. This clubhouse. Oh, no, I, okay, I now I know what it is. He right. It's clubhouse so he can have an opinion. It don't have to make no sense. All right, right, man, but when, when have we ever trusted the Fed to tell the truth about anything, bro? Bro, we ain't talking about tell the truth about them. We talking about a document. The only thing that ever matters is black and white, bro. Don't you always that's hear the stretch, bro? You you said third party snitching. That's why. That's you know. That's where I get confused. That dude says it's third. What the fuck is third party snitching? He said okay. the third party what, is what, crazy. What, what, you don't know. <laughs> I mean, from my understanding of what third party is, meaning like you like it's a setup. It's similar. Like it's kind of like you know what I'm saying. You put somebody. I think like third party snitches sound like conspiracy in the same sense. Would you agree or disagree? Well, I don't, I agree too, Stats, but the, it, fuck the third party snitches. This is the biggest point. Bro, if I put together a dope deal with Stats 280, Yael, and Maria, right? I have Maria be my legs. Stats 280 going to get the work from Yael. The feds say that they know that I put this move together. They know that Maria was the cooperating witness, but they don't lock up Maria and Lamonte, but they lock up Yael and Stats 280. Fuck third party. 
Nigga, why the fuck you, they know you put this together and you ain't being charged. You are unindicted co-conspirator. And me being in the, doing 10 years in the feds with an unindicted co-conspirator, bro, who was the snitch, the Navy is Hobson. Nigga, I know what that unindicted co-conspirator mean, nigga. Yeah, and then the fact that the wording, you know what I'm saying, uh, co-conspirator, I'ma just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, it's the wording, simple as, as, as form. Like, they trying to, you know they I'm trying saying? to get you with the lingo because they know when you get a lawyer to represent you in the court, your lingo, your words don't mean what their words mean when you stand in front of the judge. They can say some things to say that sound similar or exactly the same way you say it. But because they're saying a the section penal code and they're saying your honor and the, this, that, and the third, it's not going to register the same. So the words that they're using are fancy, they're bigger, uh, they're complex to the to the the normal person yeah. who's not into it the even confused, It side. even confused him. He didn't even understand it. So a right. co-conspirator no, is a per my bad dude. A co-conspirator yeah, no, yeah, yeah. just building off what you said. They got okay, what well, they call a, a layman uh witness or a layman, layman term, which is somebody who don't understand law because law is its own language within itself. They All have right. the black laws dictionary because the words that we might say to right now is gonna have a different meaning in the context of law. Does that make sense? Uh, Leon P, what what what's crazy? Because you have a lot of emotion behind. I can tell. I can I can discern what you're doing. So yeah, come up hey, here and you give your what? stance. We gonna, we gonna close this room because we we gonna say we don't want to stretch too much of that interview. So we gonna throw that up eventually. Hey, um, we gonna oh, go into. You say? We gonna go into the gonna... house right now. Uh, tap into the house, and, uh, Leon, and we'll do all that in the house. So salute everybody. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. We about to go Salute. into the house and we're gonna politic over there, whatever the case may be. That's out the party and shit. Let's get it. Boom!